this video would describe two ways to prepare a set of calibration standards. Here are the supplies that are required. Volumetric pipettes and a pipette bulb. This is a three valve style pipette bulb where A is pressed while squeezing the bulb to release air. S is pressed to fill a pipette. And E is pressed to deliver the volume of liquid. Additionally, you will need a set of volumetric flasks. Attach a volumetric pipette to the pipette bulb. The pipette should fit snug into the bulb. Press the topmost button, A, of the bulb while squeezing the bulb. Brace the end of the pipette into the stock standard solution so that the tip is fully submerged. Press the S button on the bulb to fill the pipette by drawing liquid up until it is higher than the fill line. Slowly press the E or delivery button until the meniscus of the liquid or the area where the lowest part of the liquid is equal with the fill line. This image shows the fill line on the volumetric pipette with the meniscus at the line and slightly below the line. You want the meniscus to sit on the line for accurate volume measurement. Continue measuring out stock standard solution using various sizes of volumetric pipettes for all calibration standards. When finished, fill each volumetric flask with deionized water to the fill line. Again, making sure that the meniscus is at the correct level of the flask's fill line. Something to note are the designations on volumetric glassware. TC refers to to contain a certain volume. This is usually seen on volumetric flasks. TD means to deliver a volume, as seen on the volumetric pipette. Finally, the third circled image you can see a small amount of liquid remaining in the tip of the volumetric pipette. This liquid remains in the pipette by design and is not blown out. The reason I remove the pipette bulb from the pipette each time when dispensing the standard solution is to allow this liquid to remain in the pipette tip. The second way to prepare a set of calibration standards will require a micro pipetter, pipette tips, disposable or glass tubes, and a tube rack if needed. Remove caps and label each tube. Next, adjust the micro pipette to the desired volume. This is done by twisting the dial near the top. Be sure to check out the video on micro pipetting for a more detailed explanation on this technique. For this preparation, I'm using a 1000 microliter filter tip. You can see the filter inside of the pipette tip in this close up. For this calibration standard preparation, I will be preparing the standards using serial dilutions. In other words, diluting the standards using the previous standard solution. You will need to mix each calibration standard prior to drawing liquid with the micro pipetter. I have started by adding deionized water to each of the tubes. Slowly press down on the plunger of the micro pipette until the first stopping point. Submerge the end of the tip in the stock standard solution, then slowly release the plunger. As you do this, liquid will now be aspirated into the pipette tip. We'll move the tip to a tube and press the plunger to the second stop to release all of the liquid. It is a good practice to aspirate the first draw of liquid twice. The first time to wet the pipette tip and the second time for the final volume. Sometimes the first draw of a pipette tip can be less volume than desired. Pre-wetting the pipette tip will eliminate this potential source of error. Continue pipetting into tubes until finished. You may need to adjust the volume of the micro pipetter during your preparation, as shown.